Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about the E major scale and its application. So we're going to get straight in and show you how to play this scale. Have a look at it with me, I want you to use some quite specific fingerings to start with. So, the E major scale starts on our low E string. There's an F sharp, which I want you to use your second finger on the second fret. There's the F sharp. G sharp is right here under the little finger, so this is going to be 4th fret and what you'll find is I'm asking you to use whatever fret number it is the same finger number, so fret 1, finger 1, fret 2, finger 2, fret 3, you get the idea uh, so we've got open fret 2, F sharp G sharp, and those three notes were on the E string you've got the open A the fret 2, B fret 4, C sharp, again with fingers 2 and 4 Final two notes I want you to play at the moment are fret one on the D string, that's the D sharp that with finger one, and your root note again an octave higher than where we started. That is with your second finger. So we're playing this. And we can come back down again. So get used to that. We'll move on to the next part shortly. Okay then, so we're going to move on to writing our bass lines to a chord progression, not in E major, but in a very closely related key, it's C sharp minor, and this is the relative minor key to E major. How do we know this? Well, there's a simple way we can work it out. If we go up to fret 7 on our A string, which hopefully you all know is also an E, and come down three frets we end up on C sharp and we can work out a relative minor key from any major key in very much the same way so if we're in A F sharp minor is your relative minor key etc but for today we're in C sharp minor and here's the progression we're going to be following So there's two ways we can think about this progression. We can think about it in E major, in which case it will be C sharp minor, chord six of the key, E major, chord one of the key, B major is chord five of the key, and A major is chord four of the key. But if we're thinking about it in C sharp minor, we're going to be starting on chord one, C sharp minor, chord 3, E major, chord 7, B major, and chord 6, A major. So next, we're going, to, um, we're going to play these root notes along with a backing track that I've created based on a popular song, which you may or may not recognise. Okay. So now I'm going to play along to the backing track using four different, different basic rhythm patterns. The first one of these is the whole note pattern. And here it comes. Beats last in four beats. One, two, three, four. We're going into quarter notes now. Each last in one beat. And eighth notes next, half a beat. Okay, so you might have noticed there that all those notes we were using sit in that E major scale we learned earlier. Because we've got C sharp here, E there, B there and A there. Now what we're going to do is connect the notes together using other notes from the scale. So for example, I'm going to go from C sharp through D sharp to E. And then I'm going to do a little one like this to B. And I'm going to come up to go back down again to A. Um, so this is a basic way of connecting those notes together now. So let's do a bass line using that method. With those long notes. And then... Eighth notes. So you may have 
have noticed that we're using quite a limited part of the scale there, never making it down onto the E string, which leaves us without some of those nice deep notes that really um, suit the bass guitar sound. So instead of going up here to the E on the D string, we're gonna come right down to the open E instead. And I'm gonna use a different set of notes from the scale to improvise this time. And this is me being a little bit freer with it. So I hope you enjoy it and hope to see you for the next bass lesson. Thanks very much then, bye.